So we can go for the fourth move in this 18 form sequence. Um, <clears throat> linked on to the other eight, just carrying on the numbers. So this is, again, the last one will be like 13, this will be 14. Um, I'm going to carry on adding the numbers together. Um, so don't worry about it, just eight, an eight form added together with an eight, 18 form. Um, so again, we're just going to, again, go for these 26 moves. Again, this is just the next one. So don't really get caught, caught up in you know, the form, the exact form, etc. cetera. Um, we're just adding these forms together in quick Qigong motions mixed with the Pilates setup and yoga setup and elongated hypnotic breath. So with that, this is going to help the heart, pericardium and the lungs. As with all opening out the chest motions, they will help the organs, heart, lungs, pericardium, the heart lining um, within the Qigong sequences. These will help different organs uh, for emergence, etc. Not going down that path with this. Going to go straight into the breathing, adding that Pilates breath in there. So as you do that now, you can <coughs> simply zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals and take the navels towards the spine right now. And as you do that, you'll feel that breath going low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as you do that now, you can either just let that happen and feel that happening. Just breathe naturally, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. If you want to be more specific about it, get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbones, okay? Or palms on the lower lobes of the lungs, just underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum there. And you'll see this happening in a sort of micro motion there. Okay, so again, just gonna overemphasize that. Fingers will be moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed. Even just a little motion. You'll be adding width to the lungs as you do that now. Okay. And as if someone's sort of like opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. That'll naturally be happening. Okay. If you want to feel that, you can't feel that, you just put, get them two middle fingers and you'll feel them parting and coming back to touch each other. Lovely. So again, that just helps us use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdle strength, the transverse abdominus, in towards the spine, support the spine, as with all Pilates exercises do. But we're gonna take that on a little bit further as we breathe in through the nose. We're gonna just let go and keep the mouth shut with the out breath. Now you'll naturally, that'll naturally happen. The out breath will naturally want to fall longer than the in breath. We've gone into sort of like the yogic type principles of going in and out through the nose because it's a smaller filter for the nose that lengthens the breath. Okay, so as you do that now, you'll feel the breath lengthen. Now allow the out breath to lengthen longer than the in breath. That will naturally happen anyway. So just allow that to happen and just feel that right now, breathing through the nose. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, taking the navel towards the spine, just over demonstrating there. And just allow that breath to fall long. That will naturally happen, the breath will lengthen. Okay, so that makes it nice and yogic, filtering breath. Okay, now the out breath will fall longer than the in breath. <clears throat> that encourages subconscious benefits in a hypnotic way. That will lengthen the breath, especially the out-breath, longer than the in-breath. You'll feel that happening now as you do that, okay? So again, in-breath, conscious thought, out-breath, subconscious thought. Allow that to happen right now. And as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, we're gonna allow that breath to fall longer without forcing it, okay? The in-breath, conscious thought, the out-breath, subconscious thought. So by extending that right now, you'll feel them subconscious benefits happening. All the housekeeping parts of the body, all the things you don't think about, all the involuntary things, cellular communication, stuff like that will be improved. OK, 
Okay, lovely. Sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation all benefited as you lengthen the out breath. Longer than the in breath, right now. Lovely. Now, again, if you could hear there, I've just brought in Ujo breath. Totally optional. This takes the yogic principles up a little bit. Slightly more advanced breath. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. We grip it yourself, guess, And it's like a with the mouth shut. Okay, it's like a sign whistling, silky breath, Ujjayi breath. Helps us lengthen the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay. Lovely. It helps us lengthen all the breath, actually. But again, you're going to demonstrate that. So we're going to breathe in through the nose as we grip at the esophagus and zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. And exhale. And as you can hear, it's soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, raspy breath in the back of the throat. Okay. Lovely, and that gives our mind something to focus on within the form as you do that now. That gives you something to focus on. Brings you into the here and now, the present moment of the breath. The motion, the movement, helps us fan the fire to burn the toxins in the body. Nice cleansing breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Lovely. So that really lengthen the out breath. If you can't get that, don't worry. Keep on just zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals and breathing it out for the nose. So we're gonna calibrate that and synchronize that with the motion. We're gonna integrate that with the motion. Okay, again, separate the clouds. Again, lovely one, put the shoulders in the right position, this one. So I'm gonna go back and demonstrate that. As with all Qigong postures or any body systems, only go in deep as you like. Okay, again, you can mix a squat. And as with a lot of Qigong exercises but I won't go further than these and on the toes two subjects on that but again I'll just stick to the old school safety knees and on the toes you want to go deeper tailbone deep but only as low as you can keep your knees and on the toes feet slightly wider than hip width apart or in line with hips okay it can be a centimeter a millimeter or a foot or just stay static okay see what suits you work it with your body it's your union of your mind and body so I'm going to go back and demonstrate that so again, it's a nice simple motion. Open out the chest. We're gonna come up here and push away the walls as we gather in, zip up and hollow. Try not to hyperextend the back, okay? I'm overemphasizing there. You gotta be doing this. Keep the spine neutral. Zip up, scoop out your abdominals, throw that corset on. And all we're gonna do is just push away the walls. Samson style. You feel that stretch, your little pinkies, little fingers? That is actually the heart meridian. But again, we're not going into that. And we're going to breathe in, come up. And as the hands descend, really elongate the exhale for as long as you like. Push away the wall, Samson style, for that stretch, little pinkies, little fingers. As you push away the walls. That's a really good one for putting the shoulder blades in the right position. Think of them as you breathe in, come up. And on the shoulders to drop. Think of them magnets, slide around the fridge to accommodate that movement just enough. Okay, just moving around the rib cage, exhaling down. So if you see the out breath part is longer than the in breath, breathing in coming up, a little bit sharper there. This is the bit we exhale and really elongate the exhale. So it's a slower motion. You can feel the stretch in the hands within the traditional form. We believe that helps the meridians, which are linking to a lot of the organs here, heart, lungs, pericardium. If you want to go deeper, Feet hip width apart or slightly wider, not Charlie Chaplin, they're facing the front. Again, the other sort of gathering leaves is one of the analogies in Tai Chi they use. And push away the walls. The shoulders will come up a little bit, but allow them to drop. So it's a I won't go lower than knees and on the toes, less if you like, tailbone deep, only as low as you keep the knees and on the toes or less. If you want to come up on the toes, you can do, gather in, navel towards the spine, even have a flutter up there, gathering against the instability, create these little micro moves, nice and small micro moves, then little shakes of everyday life you have to stabilise against, optional. Gathering up on the toes, 
gathering against the instability. Is that more unstable? Optional. Exhaling down onto the heels, gathering knees there. And exhale. Again, you'll find natural spaces at the end and the beginning of the breath, uh, when the mind calms down and relaxes, you can slip into that gap and just el carry on elongating the exhale. That would naturally make you do that. Your mind will slip into them gaps and you yeah, won't mind, just allow the mind just to squeeze the gap, exploit the gap and step into the gap at the end and the beginning of that lovely elongated out breath, okay? And anything that opens out the chest is good because we spend a lot of time compressed against gravity, uh, bearing gravity, etc. So anything that opens out the chest is good. Really good one allowing the shoulders just to drop into their own natural position. Watch that hyperextension of the back. You're not going to be hyperextending the back. Gather in here for support. And again, stretch the front line of the body. One of the best stretches you can get, one of the simplest stretches you can get. Stretch that whole front line of the body from the crown to the toes. We're covered in muscle fascia. And that's stretching pretty much that front line of the body from head to toe, okay? Anything that helps us lengthen up is good. And just really, if you come up on the toes, gather in. If you want to create their micro movements, see how small you make them. Again, we're sort of mimicking these little shakes of everyday life. That's what the pelvic floor and the corset is stabilizing against. Um, if you're up on the toes, you're creating more instability. They're all optional though. They, as you noticed, it just started off with the arms. You just do the arms. Come up on the toes, go down deep. You know, there's lots of ways you can adapt to it. And again, make these unique to you with all these adaptions. And that was number four. We've got the back swinging monkey, number five of this one. Uh, but again, this four is added on to the last eight. So this is like 12. Okay, but again, I'll put, I'll put all the numbers on the video. Okay, um, so this is like an eight form and an 18 form added together, which is like 26 moves in sequence there. Um, lovely, back swinging monkey next. Brilliant, bang.